Have a glorious day here in Nazare, so we're going to head down the bottom and check out the town and it might even be beach weather today. <laughs> yep, they've all bought the same bags, so we've got matching blue bags coming down the stairs here. It's going to be so much fun when they get them mixed up. <laughs> Hang on, I bought mine first, I bought mine in December. <laughs> True. Sound sculpture, the candles, so it'll be all lit up at night, the tea lights. This is where the festival is over these three days, so it's going to be pretty busy down here, down on the beach stadium. <laughs> Big names in Portuguese music and DJs. Ah, these are so cool for the kids 20 minutes, 2 euros 50, 30 minutes, 3 euros. Something Ma loves to do is look at knickknacks, and she's really impressed by all the different things that are on offer here in Nazare. Things like this and, and here is that amazing artist we saw in Stubal. Can't remember his name, but I love them. So cool. And wow, there's just so many things. Oh, from a nativity scene. Regional costumes. Everything here is made in Portugal. Oh, here's Bordello Pinheiro, the famous sardines, also does like the cabbages, etc. Oh, it's so lovely. So I can't remember this place being open when we were here before. I don't know if it's a summer thing or maybe it's just more on offer. Oh, wow. Well, so cool. And here, everybody really like these fish. So wonderful. Is there a lot to see, Mark? Oh, it's Oops. amazing. Stuff is so nice, so pretty. Even yeah. down to the little rooster. Oh, yeah, because Mark so wants to get a gallo. Oh, I can't with the name. I'll have to write it up. Tiny one. So cool. Oh, please don't touch. Oopsies. So we're just looking for Lee and Gaza. And Good afternoon, sunshine. <laughs> Watching a bit of football Watching on the, the beach. Footy. Yep. I think it's Spain versus Portugal by the look of it. Really? Yeah. I've heard a few accidents up there. Yeah. Good yeah. football. Yeah. Lady here at the yeah. Be good. Oh, yeah, she's pretty good, man. She's not afraid. <laughs> it is so interesting to see the difference between winter and summer in Nazare. We were here in March, April, and it was quiet. There was nobody on the beach. You could wander down. It was just, you had it all to yourself. Now, it's August, it's like the peak tourist season and there's a lot of people around. It's a really good vibe actually, there's stuff going on, there's music and there's plenty of people around. We're going to wander down onto the beach to show you what it's like on the beach down here in peak tourist season. This is the concession area, so I think you rent these things out, they're like tents, it's really interesting, it's like a little shelter ghetto of people. <laughs> we'll go down and have a look. One thing that really took my interest here as well, this is something I've never seen on a beach before anywhere, are Sinceros de Playa. They are ashtrays for the beach. Oh my word. And they give you these, you pick them up, you, you put your, ash, your cigarette butts in there and you bring them back and throw them away so you don't oh, yeah. put cigarettes <gasps> out on the beach, which I think is a really good idea. I love it. Far out. Wow, look at these. Oh my word, they're amazing. We just asked out of interest how much it costs to rent the baracas, the, these little shade houses where you can chill out on the beach and have a bit of shade. It costs 10 euros for a whole day, or if you just want to come after 3 p.m., it's 7 euros, so there's a bit of a discount there. But you'll see that uh, a lot of the families really like these places. It's somewhere to camp out and leave your stuff and get a bit of shade. I have to say, it's actually a lot more reasonable than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, 10 euros for the whole day for the yeah. family, you know, that's pretty cool. Live music, free, all yeah. the way through August. Every three or four nights there's a band on. They don't come on until 10 p.m., <laughs> uh, which is quite late for us. Yeah. We're going to really try and make it down one night. We'll make an effort to, but why not? We heard it on the way home the other day, didn't we? And it sounded fun. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. They've got the deck chairs. They remind me of Punch and Judy 
tents, <laughs> that kind of shape, you know? It's great. Cool. And up here, there's just that magnificent aspect of Sitio. The funicular, and over there, the lighthouse, the fort, you know, the Faro, Fortaleza. So wonderful. Here's the beach library over here. Oh, wow. Yeah. The Biblioteca de Playa Beach Library. Enter in the, the Onda of Da Leitura, the wave. Of, of literature? Literature, yeah. Excellent. How cool is that? Free entrance, some of the Libra kids. Oh, wow. Okay, there's books like this. Give you that is. Mm, nice. Do we have books in English? So lovely. And in front of the children's library, they've built a playground for the kids. That wasn't here in the winter. So great, the kids have got some where to entertain themselves while the adults lie in the sun <laughs> and enjoy the sea. As you can see, we've gone from winter with no one around into like a mass of humanity <laughs> down here on the beach. But it's really nice, it's a nice vibe. I like it. It's amazing, I don't... Far out. It's like a seal from it. This is incredible. Like coming from New Zealand, we just don't have this. <laughs> this reminds me of like when I was a kid in England on some of the summer beaches when it was just shoulder to shoulder, people everywhere. Fellas well, got to push through the crowds to get into the sea. It's amazing. <laughs> Far out. I mean, we'd heard that Nazare was one of the most popular Portuguese beach resorts. I but... think so, yeah. I mean, like, I know the Algarve is busy and there's a lot of uh, internationals down there, Brits and Germans and all sorts. But here, I, I hear Portuguese, I hear Spanish accents a lot, but I don't hear many other nationalities. Like, it really feels a bit more like a national beach. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Cool. I've got my beach towel, I've got my trunks, I'm here for the day. Thank you very much. <laughs> We're going in. Johnny Weissmuller, Tarzan, and Jane. Let's go, Jane. We're <laughs> <laughs> out. This is the first time Gaz has swum the Atlantic. You're going to go oh, in, Mark? Not today. Not today, another day. Yeah. You're coming back down on Friday. <laughs> this is so cool. It must be like a Portuguese custom because they told us about it and said I absolutely had to capture it. And he was so right. <laughs> that is such a Portuguese thing. I haven't seen it anywhere else on any other beach anywhere in the world. Guy selling donuts, sings a song, everybody claps, buy a donut. Why not? Follows <laughs> de Berlin. Lovely. <laughs> and how much are they? Someone paid 150 for something else. I don't know. Was it 150 for one a, euro for a 50, bollock? yeah. Okay, there you go. Muro medio. Meal? Like, yeah, yeah. You haven't been to Portugal unless you've been to a beach and bought a bola de Berlin from the Bola Berlina. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a bit of a wait because it's super busy, but... but we're really happy with our mixed grill here. We've got a nice selection of meats. We've got some beef and some pork and some chicken and sausage, chips and rice and beans and salad. Perfect. Well, the beans were awesome. Mars, we gave it to us separately. So yeah, so yeah. Mars has bitoke peru, which is turkey steak. Mm. Huge. <laughs> it's a big bird. <laughs> Might be a big bird. Oh. Mm. So, and Gaza also has the chirasco misto. Mm. Happy with that, Gaz? Yeah, man. 
Awesome. Yeah, and we've awesome. got our usual uh, ketchup and mayo, and of course we had to have some of this. That is awesome. Yeah. yeah. The homemade chilies. Eat with care. It is picante. Exactly. <laughs> Definitely. But um, yeah, so really pleased. So got the stuff there, and you got your salad on the side, and so eight euros fifty. Very good value. So we've got coffee to come. Coffee afterwards. Yeah. I've just asked these two lovely people, Johnny and Louise, if they'd mind me recording what they're about to say and to repeat it, because I swear it's like so incredibly kind. Yeah. So what I was just saying there was whenever we're traveling or looking to go somewhere, you know, you're going to go on YouTube, you're going to look at people that are in that country and see what they have to say. Uh, most bloggers on bearable, <laughs> right? It's always me, 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 uh -huh. right? Which are obnoxious. Mm -hmm. But what I particularly liked about you guys, likable, but the content, man, you give the nitty gritty. Awesome. Right? Yeah. yeah. You, you show prices. You want to know about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to know the places yeah, yeah, to go. Yeah. All the things you want to know, you tell. Awesome. Oh, yeah. that's so wonderful. Yeah. That's, seriously, that's what we're looking for in videos. And like, I watch YouTube videos and it's like, show me a menu. Yeah. Show me a price. Yeah. How it's much so does that cost? What are you eating? Yeah. Yeah. And they don't show it. Yeah. You put in the context. <laughs> oh, that is so wonderful. Yeah. Thanks. We really appreciate that because yeah. feedback is good and whatever we can do to help. Yeah, is no, like, yeah. You helped us. Yeah. Keep it up. Keep it oh, up. Because yeah. apparently they were watching one of our videos last night yeah. and they watched, yeah. they found this place yeah. on our video. And you recommend it? <laughs> recommend it. So it's so lovely coming into the market here in Nazare. Okay, a few stores are closed. Maybe because summer holidays but it's still loads yeah it's a bit later in the day so a few of them have closed down now but still a bit going on did you just say that <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we're well, taking our visitors it... around but we've lost them somewhere <laughs> shopping so we take ourselves around instead <laughs> uh, i said i thought they may be closed because of summer holidays do you know what i mean like there's, yeah. there's no I'd rather one be down on the beach selling <laughs> bolas de berlin <laughs> that's probably where the money is yeah Lovely. One thing I still want to buy is salam de chocolat. We haven't bought any nice yet. Nice bread and pastries there. Yeah. Ah. I found one of them. <laughs> Here he is. It's me. All right. Mate. Yeah. Oh, good. So, where are we going? Shopping. Of course. Oh. The breads are, are really dense down there. They're almost, yeah. yeah. The ingredients written in English. Nazare, tourist town. Yeah. Wheat and rye yogurt. Yeah. 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 Whole meal wheat, raisin, sunflower seeds, sesame seeds. Oh wow, that would have been nice. Oat and flax seeds. Uh, it's a bit integral, it's here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. More wheat. But look at these ones. Oh, you see that? Look how dense that looks. Yes. Yeah. And that one there. Yeah. A branca meaning white. Amarela. Yellow. Oh, yellow corn and white corn. That's so cool. We're going to buy tromossos, which is a very popular Portuguese snack. Lupin seeds. Yeah. Uh, three a kilo. Really good. And her tomatoes are 150. Always have a look around for stores because some people are just so much more reasonable than others. Lee, do you want to go? Ten, ten Segunda feira, sí, sí. Estuviste la, sí, vendiendo. Ah, muy bom. Ah, a misma loja. Your daughter. Yeah, su filia. Su. Ah, sí, excelente. Muy obrigado, señora. Yeah, she recognises we're in our cabasa market. Yeah, same lady that we bought the olives from there. So this market down in the Nazare market, same lady or the same family at the Alcabasa market, they've got the best olives, haven't they? They have. Yeah. That is so wonderful. The olives we're eating at the moment that Gaza absolutely loves. So they're here, same price. Three euros a kilo, very good. It's the Tremoso taste test for the Kiwis in town. I don't eat the film on top, I don't like it. I Talk do, I really like it. The skin's mm. great. <laughs> why, why what are your thoughts? Exactly. 
sort of a bit salty, salty. Yeah. but right. not too salty. Yeah. You couldn't do it too much. No. no, it's beer food, Gaza. You have a few beers and you start nibbling on them and you, like you, you get into that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'd probably need a few. Yeah. <laughs> Mandy loves them, don't I you, love Mandy? Them. Yeah. Mother yeah. like really cool. <laughs> like, yeah, it's Speedy, cool. Speed Joe's skin, Kiwi Brook skin. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Good for you. It's going up now. Have a look at the fish. Oh, wow. Aren't they amazing? What is that? What is that? Uh, what are they called? I cannot remember the name. Dragon's Ball? Yeah. Devil's Ball? Oh. Make the delights of many people. Uh, they look like rubbing nails. They are crustaceans. Yeah. Wow. Cold beer or green wine. They're incredible. Okay, so it's five euros for one of these. They just look amazeballs. Okay, no prices. Oh no. Oh, the choco. Oh wow, like chocolate frito, 16 euros a kilo. Everything looks, wow, cut a pal, only 6 euros. What different types? Okay. Beautiful, healthy looking fish. Um, I think it's from the Senora, I think it's octopus. Wow. Nice selection of fish. Looks in amazing. Centurilio is 16. I'm not too sure what that one is. Okay, Groper is 22. Polvo? I think Polvo is octopus. 10 euro. Wow, look at them. Lula? I think that's squid, cuttlefish, I think. Or maybe it's squid, it's 20. Sardines, six euros a kilo. No obrigada, senora. Sardines. Yeah, really. Como se chama isto, senora? Tamburio. Tamburio. Is that like a drum? It's like a looks like one of the bottom feeders, isn't it? I think. Yeah, that's the underbelly side of these top feeders. Yeah. Brilliant. Do they just slice it off or you know, you buy that? I'm really not too sure because we don't tend to buy fish. What, is it a flounder? Oh, Amazing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How much is that? 10 euros a kilo. Yeah. But that's like a flounder, but I mean, they, yes. they start like that and they flatten out. Yeah, okay. Oh, oh my word, and look down below. Are they more eel? But see, it doesn't smell, it's all very fresh. It's a fresh Wow. Oh, is that white bait? It looks like white bait. It's just bigger, I think. It looks so good. So nice and fresh and... Oh wow, look at the polvo. For 10 euros. I'm not too sure if it's a kilo or for one. Okay, cut a pal, six euros a kilo. And these ones as well. Wow. Best fish for you. I think that's what that means. And this is a great idea. You can buy your skewers already made. So it's 15 euros a kilo. And there's so much on them. Wow, just for the crabs. And how cool. Oh, the Nazare boat. This is a live shellfish. So wow, all so different at this time of the year. Samara and Gaz, what do you think of a European beach in summer? The sand, the sparkly water, jet skis out there, and people like ants. Yeah. Yeah. So so many. So it's incredible. Is it like that in New Zealand beaches? Not our beaches. No. What about Mission Bay? No, no not this beach. No, we'll see, they've got all the beach umbrellas there and they've got the little tents, the little cabins, tent, tent cabins. As in here? Yeah, yeah but 
No, we don't have it at home. Mission Bay, you just go and lay on the beach and there's, you know, yeah. you can it's swing a cat me. around you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But to yeah. Lee, it's something you're familiar with? Yeah, definitely, yeah, <laughs> crowds, but uh, it, it, it still seems quite strange coming down here and seeing this like this because, yeah, we've seen it in the winter time and it's totally different. Yeah. Mm. Still beautiful though. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah it's no, nice first vibe. First dip in the Atlantic, yeah. man. Yeah. It's, it's yeah, well done, guys. It's first, first dip in the Atlantic. It's so fish, chill. Fishing boat coming back into the harbour. It's bracing. Oh. Great. It's bracing. Nice. Excellent.